This is part two of my November 2023 backpacking trip on the AT. In this episode, we hike from Caesarbrook Campsite north to Pine Swamp Hill before heading south to Silver Hill Campsite. If you missed that video, click on the link above or the description below. Good morning. Day two on the Appalachian Trail here at Caesarbrook Campground. The current temperature is 37, but the low last night was 32 degrees. Last night for sleeping, I have my 10 degree down quilt from Enlightened Equipment, my Thermarest X-Therm sleeping pad, and I added my puffy coat midway through the night, mostly for my head. My head was a little cold even though I had a, a wool cap on. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot my down booties. camp while we're here. Campsite number one of four uh, provides uh, a little bit of tent space. I don't really like that dead tree. It's not a huge one, but nonetheless. Uh, looks like I camped just outside of tent space one, <laughs> literally on the trail that leads through the campsite here. Here's your map, the blue trail, campsite one. The wash pit, campsite two, three, and four are all before the rock wall. I believe the bear box is right after campsite two. Let's go take a look. So we walk down the trail here. On our left is the wash pit. Nothing fancy. Nice, great to collect all your scraps to take them with you. This is campsite number two. We continue down the blue trail. On our right is the bear box. Got all my food and smellables in there already. Here's where I had dinner last night, sat on the log. I guess this big area here on the right is, says three, but uh, there's a big log in the way. Continue on past the rock wall. And that should bring us to the privy. Let's see what that looks like. All right, far enough uh, to provide some privacy. Hot coffee, pop tarts for breakfast. According to all trails, I have about six miles to Sharon Mountain campsite, which is where I camped coming in from the north ones before. My plan, I think, is going to be to go on up there um, and come back. Probably stay here again tomorrow night, but I'm gonna pack up my gear just in case. Um, if I have enough daylight, I think I may try to get to uh, Silver Hill campsite to make uh, day three a little bit shorter. A couple of uh, Mistakes I made yesterday, one, started a little, a little late. 12 o'clock was a late start, given that uh, sunset is at 4.38. Um, definitely uh, looked at the trail notices, saw one closure south of here. I didn't realize that uh, the Guinea River was an issue, and I didn't realize that there was no water at Silver Hill uh, campsite. Beautiful campsite, wish I could have stayed there. Last night while I was night hiking, I did see some wildlife. I saw two ground dwellers. One of them was all black. I don't think it was a skunk. It looked a little big for a skunk. Um, and it didn't seem to have a tail. Uh, one of them I didn't see, but I definitely uh, saw the bushes move. And then I saw two deer. Um, and then when I, right when I got to the campsite, I realized I was setting up my tent underneath an owl that was awful loud, but it seemed to leave after I set up my camp, uh, which is good, because that would have been tough to sleep with an owl hooting over my head all night. Supposed to be uh, sunny today, uh, so far so good. The skies are blue, a um, little bit cold uh, right now, but I'm hoping it warms up to the 50s or so, so it's comfortable hiking weather like it was yesterday. We're just leaving Caesar Brook campsites. It's about 8.25 in the morning. Here the AT is crossing Caesar Brook Trail, which 
actually looks like an old woods road. Um, the foundation I just passed, I believe, has something to do with Caesar, uh, the guy who owned the land or farmed the land around here. So Caesar's Brook was the uh, low point between two hills. One was my knob, which we went over last night, and then this unnamed hill that we're going over now. and 60 feet tall here. I have no idea why it doesn't get a name. In uh, eastern Connecticut, this would be a huge mountain. Maybe in western Connecticut, it's not such a big deal. Today is November 11th, and that's Veterans Day. I'd like to take a moment to share my appreciation for the, all those who serve the country. I know some of you who follow the channel are veterans, as is my daughter, Amanda, who's currently serving the United States Coast Guard. shoulders our next big hill it's uh, Pine Swamp Hill as soon as we cross West Cornwall Road we'll be climbing again Pretty cool, definitely worth checking out the lemon squeezer. Whew. Well, the climbing didn't end after the lemon squeezer. Pine Swamp Hill is next about 1,300 feet tall. on the time of day and, and the distance I have to cover, I think I'm going to turn around here and make sure I get back to at least Caesars, if not uh, Silver Hill, because I've got a long day tomorrow and I can't afford to get back too late. So I'm going to turn it around now, but I'll show you some stuff that you hadn't seen before on the way back. Well, it's just beautiful out now. It's like 60 degrees. I'm glad I took a break and uh, decided to head back. I feel like I'll have a lot less pressure. I'll actually be able to enjoy the beautiful weather with some more of these great views 
I always say a trail on the way back is not the same. You have different viewpoints, different vistas that you might not have noticed on the way out. The views here at Pine Knob are just unbelievable. Didn't get to see any of this last night. I'm so glad that I got back here uh, as the sun is setting to enjoy this view. But I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna hit the trail again. Hopefully get to uh, Silver Hill before uh, it gets too late. Just passed two more backpackers down there. Busy night tonight. I wonder if they're all gonna stay at Caesar Brook. All right, we've reached the junction of the Mohawk Trail. It's 428. The sun is setting. It's only a tenth, couple tenths of a mile down to the bypass. All right, I've reached the bypass. So I'm not gonna try to cross the river again. I'll make them back here with my car and hike down there though. And, uh, cross it if I feel ambitious tomorrow after I get to my car. But for now, I'm staying dry. It's gonna be in the 20s tonight. Silver Hill camping. And the problem is there's a large party here and they're very loud. See how much sleep I get tonight. Oh boy. I don't have the energy to go any further. Stay tuned for part three where I hiked 6.4 miles from Silver Hill campsite back to my car on River Road in Kent.